Hello there, and welcome back to Mysteries, Mysteries, and Magics. In this video, I'm going to do a magic effect that I simply call the name trick. Um, I have no other, well, name for it, if you'll kind of excuse the bad pun. Um, this is not an original trick, not by any stretch. I saw this on a video, uh, and unfortunately, I cannot find that video anymore. I couldn't even tell you whether or not it's on YouTube or it was just some random video on the, you know, good old interwebs. The problem is, uh, not knowing the actual name of this effect, anytime you do a search for something like name magic trick, you end up with a trick where you spell out A, C, E, O, F, spades, blah, blah, blah. When you get to the, the bottom of the uh, S, the, to the last S, you turn over the card and it's the Ace of Spades. That's not this particular effect. This is different. We're going to spell out the name of the uh, spectator, of an audience member. And here's how, here's how it works, okay? Um, you simply you can take the cards, give them a shuffle. You can see they're, they're already mixed up. This is the uh, one of the two bicycle uh, craft beers decks. Pretty cool little deck. Um, you can see the, the hearts and diamonds are kind of this goldish color. Um, the... Uh, spades and clubs are sort of a, a, a well, they're, they're dark, they're black, they have a, a gold um, sort of shadow behind them while the uh, hearts and diamonds have a black shadow behind them and on each each card, here I'll turn it around this way, each card has the name of a different craft brewery on it, which is pretty cool, they're pretty cool and some of them are very colorful. Um, you know, we've got reds and, there you go, United uh, Unita, Unita, who's that? Unta, Unta Brewing Company, and so on and so forth. Uh, before I get into the uh, the um, magic effect itself, I want to just go over a couple things. You do get uh, a couple interesting things with this card, or this deck of cards. Uh, there's a an advertising card. It's got the uh, design on the back and it's got a little bit of thing about why they did a uh, deck of uh, craft beers. There is a, a different one, a second deck like this. I don't happen to have it. There is a double backer that you can use for this particular deck. And for my money, this deck has what I think is the world's greatest joker. I mean, come on. Any joker with the name Ass Clown, it's just too bad you never get a chance to use it. What a great card. I love this. The Ass Clown Joker. What what a I love this. I just love that card. Anyway, let's get on to the, the effect itself. So you, you have the cards shuffled up. You can have your spectator shuffle them if you like. You can have them pick a card that uh of their choosing anywhere, any way you want. Doesn't matter. Take the card out. You uh as the magician will not know what the card is. Uh, I'm not going to look uh, at this. I'm going to turn my back so uh, you can see what card they have chosen. Um, and then you have uh, them give you back the card. And you put it just somewhere in the deck like this. You can do a quick cut to bury it somewhere along the way. Do a good couple of shuffles here. Get the card good and buried. And let's see if I can get one decent shuffle out of this mess. There we go. And let's assume for the time being, uh, for the purpose of this tr this effect, that uh, your spectator's name is Mary. So here we go. M-A-R-Y. Now it really doesn't matter how long the person's name actually is. I'm just going to do four cards to make it quick. Uh, so I then turn to my spectator and I say, Mary, do you know what the least magical letter of the alphabet is? And they'll, of course, say no. And the answer is, it's the letter Y. So we have to get rid of the letter Y in your name. Every single card that represents the letter Y. M-A-R-Y. 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 You're down to one last card. That's it. That should do it. That's the effect on uh, Tuesday, the next... This coming Tuesday, Tutorial Tuesday, I will be doing the reveal and uh, the tutorial on how to accomplish this particular trick. So you want to be uh, sitting your, your notification button for that. 
Thank you to RP Magic Shop for sponsoring this channel, Mysteries, Mysteries, and Magics. Please come back, please subscribe, let me know what you think of the effect, and let me know uh, what you think of the tutorial when it comes up. In the meantime, I just have to simply remind you to always leave them baffled.